Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Most High God, our ever faithful Father. We give you praise. We give you glory today. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Today I'll be sharing with you on the grace to be under this protective care, under the protective care of God. At this moment in time, in our life, in our nations, all over the world, we need to come under the protective hands of God. And that's what I'll be sharing with you today on from the book of Psalm, Psalm 91. I'll be taking verse 1, Psalm 91. I've been sharing on a lot of lessons on this. If you watch my previous video, I've shared on the uh, grace of God to be in His presence and to be in the secret place of the Most High. And this morning, I'll be sharing the grace to be under His protective care. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now we need to dwell, and dwelling means is an old, is an old word. It means living in, in God's hands, in God's protective care. And I want you to know that this is the time you need to come under God's protective care. God has a hiding place for his people. And God has provided a hiding place for you and I to come before him. In Psalm 32, I will read verse 7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. So God should be your hiding place. Your place of secrets. Your place of uh, communion. Your place of abiding. And God must be the one with whom you come. To abide in his presence you need to dwell in god and be under his protective care now we are under god's protective care when we come and into the place of prayer and we dwell in his presence and ask for his grace he cares for us and is watching over us god wants to take care of you when there are circumstances around us that are very challenging circumstances and troubles in the world that are so confusing that people are dying daily, people are, uh, are losing their life to sickness, to disease, and uh, physical attack from other men. And now this is a hiding place. You need to come to, to handle your emotions, to bring your emotional situation before the Lord. And you know today a lot of people are committing suicide because they do not know what to do with their life. And I want to assure you, when you come to God, you will have a hiding place. Your marital problems, you can hide it before the Lord and bring it before the Lord who cares and take responsibility for you. Your material problems, you can take it to the Lord in the hiding place. And God can be your dwelling place. It can be the place where you dwell and the place where you are. Let me read for you the book of 1 John, 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4, I read verse 15 and 16. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, dwelleth in him, and he in God. So if you confess Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you are dwelling in God. So I invite you today to ask Jesus to come into your life so that you can become a child of God. What is that again? Whosoever confess that Jesus is Son of God, dwelleth in him and in God and we have known and believed the love that God had towards us. God is love and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God. So we need to dwell in God and there are advantages of dwelling in God. It brings you into a refuge. A refuge is a place of protection, a fortified place where the enemy cannot attack you, where situations cannot attack you. You need to come into that God's dwelling place where you can be protected by God. Psalm 9, verse 9. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in the time of trouble. God is a refuge in the time of trouble. When the storms and the winds are blowing contrary, God will keep you under his protective care. And now let me tell you quickly, what you will enjoy in the protective care of God. In the book of Deuteronomy 32, verse 10, it says, Deuteronomy 32, verse 10, He found him in a desert land, 
and the waste calling wilderness. He led him about, he instructed him, he kept him as the apple of his eye. When you are dwelling in God's presence, God's hiding place, where you come to pray, when you come to share your burdens, the Lord will take care of you as the apple of his eye. You know, it is very difficult for man to allow a stick to go through his eye. And you become God's protective care. God will care for you affectionately. God will care for you in every respect so that situation and circumstances will not overtake you. And we need to come to that place consistently and constantly in the place of prayer. Now we need to make this a prayer in the book of Psalm, Psalm 17, verse 6. Psalm 17, verse 6. And this is a prayer you must make for yourself. And as you are going through this situation of life today, it says, Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that savest 